A lot, a lot of you have already started learning this with me, especially for grade six and seven. This unit is very, very important because you will be doing these fractions like throughout your school, your university, but you usually start this uh, in grade five to six, but in grade six, it's a very important unit. So you should know what are alike and unlike fractions. And my our next question is, can we add or subtract fractions? So I'm gonna explain it to you very quickly. So first thing we need to know is what are alike and unlike fraction. So I'm gonna write two fractions on the board and you have to tell me whether these fractions are alike or unlike. So my first fraction is two over three and I'm gonna write four over um, five. Let's write four over five. <clears throat> so. Do you think this these fractions are, because we're taking the two set, uh, fractions over here. So you guys tell me, is it, are these fractions alike or unlike? Alike and unlike, how to find that? Only by looking at your denominators. So in that case, we just focus on the denominators. Do we have, do our denominators are same? Like, do we have three on three on both sides or do we have five and five on both sides? No. This means these two fractions are unlike. So these two fractions are known as unlike fractions. If I'm going to say, how about 2 over 7 and 4 over 7. Now, since these two fractions have same denominator, 7, 7, so these two fractions are called alike fractions. Is this clear? So unlike and alike. Now, our next question is, can we add or subtract fraction? Yes, we can add or subtract fraction, but only alike fractions. So we can only add subtract alike fractions we cannot add or subtract not add or subtract unlike fractions is this clear we can add only alike fraction which are the same denominator if the denominators are same we cannot add or subtract unless we find a common denominator. So we have to go through a process for unlike fraction. First, we have to make convert it into a like fractions, and then we can add or subtract. All right, so I'm gonna do a few examples quickly. So the answer for this one, can we add or subtract fractions? Yes, only if we have same denominator. So I'm gonna have I'm going to use the same questions. I'm going to just erase this quickly. So I will be using, okay, let's do this quickly over here. I'll leave it. So you can add, so since your denominators are same, you can easily add or subtract. You never add the denominator. So the final answer for this question will be, what is two plus four? Simple six. Do we add denominators? Seven plus seven makes 14, but we never add that. We just keep the denominator as is, that is 7. So 6 over 7 is the answer for that question. Okay, now come to this one. Since I told you before we cannot add or subtract the unlike fraction, in this case, we have to find a common denominator. Common denominator, there are multiple ways. So I'm going to go with the easiest one first. So which you can... There are two ways. First, to find the lowest common multiple. And the other one is to multiply multiply the denominator of the fraction, like the whole fraction, by the denominator of the opposite fraction. So this is the denominator of this fraction. We will multiply 5 times 2 and 5 times 3. And this whole fraction, we will multiply by uh, 3. 
So now we'll do what is 5 times 2? 5 times 2 we know is 10. And what is 5 times 3? Is 15. Plus comes as it. What is 4 times 3? 12. 5 times 3? 15. Look, now we have a like denominators. That means we can continue adding the fractions now because now we have a like fractions. So simple, the answer for this question will be, I'm going to write it down over here. I'll just push this a little bit over there. Okay, so what is 10 plus 12? You all should know that. It's 22. And the denominator, I'm sorry about the voices you're hearing from the background. It's my daughter, so please ignore. So 15 goes down here as is. So this fraction is 22 over 15. You added this fraction. Okay, now because since they're alive denominators, you can continue with uh, adding your fractions. Okay, now another question is, because it's going to keep going, so this is, I'll teach you that about in my next video, different types of fractions like um, proper, improper, and mixed fraction. By looking at this fraction, 22 over 15, who knows what type of fraction is this? Is it a proper fraction? Is it improper or mixed fraction? So right now, we can see 22 numerator. Numerator. Okay, did I spell it right? Numerator. Sorry. Numerator and denominator. So, if your numerator is bigger than your denominator, then this fraction is an improper fraction. Improper fraction. An improper fraction can always be converted into mixed fraction. So, when you have this, I'll, I'll show you over here. I'm sorry, I don't have enough space on my board. So, how to convert your improper fraction into a mixed fraction, I'm going to show you over here. Improper fraction can be converted into mixed fraction through traditional division, long division. Denominator is your divisor. Numerator is your dividend that goes inside. Now, how many times can 15 go into 22? You all should know it's just one time. 15 can go into 22. You do subtraction. What is uh, 22 take away 15? It's 7. So 7 is a kind of new uh, remainder in this case, but we don't use remainder because since we are converting our improper fraction into mixed fraction, so the final answer for this question will be how many holes? So this number at the top quotient is our whole number. So we'll say one hole, 7 over 15. So this thing is exactly same as this. So one hole, 7 over 15 is exactly same as 22 over 15. If you have any question, friends, please leave me a message and send me an email. I would love to explain it to you further. All right. So yeah, thank you so much. How to uh, multiply or divide fractions. So I have the same questions over here. I'm just going to erase this right in front of you guys. So that you know where we continue from. Okay. So remember, as I said in my previous video, we can add or subtract fractions if they are unlike. But in case of multiplication and division, so I'm just going to replace this. This is going to be, we multiply times 5 over 4. It could be like any, any random question. So now my question is, can we multiply or divide fractions? Yes, we can definitely multiply or divide fractions. And we don't even have to consider whether they are alike or unlike. We don't have to worry about alike and unlike fractions when we are multiplying. So the multiplying fraction is super easier, easier than your adding and subtracting fraction. All you have to do is just multiply the top number, what is 2 times 5, 10, and 3 times 4, 
fall. Remember in my previous video, I told you, you don't add or subtract uh, denominators. But this is not a case in terms of multiplication. You do have to multiply your denominator as well. So this will be 10 over 12. Now, we all know 10 over 12 is our proper fraction. And why it's a proper fraction? Because we have a numerator smaller than the denominator. Improper fraction can be converted into mixed fraction, but we can definitely reduce. We can definitely reduce our proper fraction if they have a common uh, multiple. So for this, since they both are even numbers, so they both fraction ten, like uh, both numbers ten over twelve, is reducible by two. So we'll reduce it by two divided by two. And we'll get 5 over 6. So 5 over 6 is in our simplest form. Simplest form because we have because we have reduced it. And it's not further reducible because we don't have a common factor for 5 and 6 because 5 is a prime number. So as soon as we reach to a prime number, we have to check if the numerator or denominator is reducible by that uh, prime number. If not, then this is considered as our simplest one. So multiplication with decimal, uh, I mean multiplication with fraction is super easy. And, and then I'm going to quickly tell you how to do the division with the same, with the same fractions. So I'll keep the same fractions and uh, let's quickly do the division. A lot of students find uh, division difficult. How to do division with fraction? How to divide? Is, are we going to divide 2 by 5 or 3 divided by 4? No. A big no. So, in this case, the division uh, of fraction is also very easy, but we have to go through one more step before we proceed. So, we have to convert. So, you're going to copy 2 over 3 as is, and you change the division sign into multiplication and when you are changing the division uh, division sign into multiplication you write the reciprocal of the uh, last fraction reciprocal means you flip it you move the fraction you turn the fraction upside down so this becomes four over five so before it was five over four but as soon as you change the sign division into multiplication your reciprocal i mean your fraction flips so five comes down and four goes up. Simple. This is a very simple uh, thing you need to remember when you're dividing, when you're doing fraction division. And then you can follow the same step for multiplication, which, uh, which I just told you. Simple. Two times four is eight and three times five is 15. Simple. Again, this is a proper fraction. This is a proper fraction. We'll see if we can reduce it further. So you guys tell me, is eight, do we have a common factor, common number which we can use to divide eight and 15? Um, can we divide eight and 15 by a factor two? Eight is reducible, but 15 is not because 15 is a odd number. Three, mm, no, four, four, eight is reducible by four, but not 15. Five, 15 is reducible by five, but not eight. So this is already in the simplest form we just check with few numbers and we can we can feel we can see that this fraction is not for the reducible so it's already in the reduced form so it's already in the reduced form so this is your final answer for this division uh, fraction hope you find this video useful if still you have any question feel free to ask me or you can leave your question in the comment and I'll try my best to explain it to you further in my next video. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye.